Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a little bit of sewing for you. We are going to take these bar towels that I picked up at Target in the dollar spot. Um, they are the, they're called bar towels or yeah, bar towels. They are 18 by 18 inches square and they were $3. And I grabbed this one that says Raven's Claw in Potions, Elixirs, and Brews. And on the back, it's a black and white stripe, and it says Nevermore. So I grabbed that package. And then I grabbed this one that says October 31st, but it also has the buffalo check, which I can put out these pillows now with the stripe spacing and the plaid out. And then on Halloween or October, I'll flip them around and put the October 31st and the Raven's Claw in out front so here's what they look like they're just black and white this says this is the raven's claw in and then the second one says nevermore now you can pre-wash these i am not going to because i like the sizing it's called it's on the fabric it makes them a little stiffer and easier to sew um and because they're already hemmed up there's it's simple um, the one drawback is they're not perfectly the same size. They're pretty close, but they're not perfect, but that's okay. So I'm going to show you how I sew these with a zipper, but you can also hot glue them together. I don't know that I would hot glue gonna zipper in it, but you can hot glue or fabric glue or get the hemming tape and iron them together. Um, you would just have to iron three sides, stuff it, and then iron the last side. But I wanted the zipper because I used the same pillow forms and then I, um, just changed the cover. It's great for storage. Um, and these are, like I said, 18 by 18. And I use the pillows from Ikea, the pillow forms that are 20 by 20, but that's fine. They fit right in here and they just make it a little more plump. Um, the other project I did is I made... This for my stove, this is all Dollar Tree. These are just the pot holders. And I attached this towel that I also got at the Dollar Tree. And I need to sew a button on it. And then I can hang these on my stove and they match my buffalo check. So I made two of those for a total of $3. And they will just hang on my stove. So I sewed these already. I have a video out how to do these, but I just thought these would be really pretty in my kitchen to go with the buffalo check theme I have. So later I will stitch the button on. So we have that. Um, what other materials? I need some snips that I just used to cut threads. Um, I am using a black 16 inch zipper. Again, if you're hot gluing, you won't need a zipper, but I'm gonna show you how I sew the zips in on here. And I'm even using, um, I have some black thread and my sewing machine. So let me get this all set up and I will flip you around and I will show you how I make a pillow out of $3 bar towels. And these are really nice quality. So I'll be right back. Now I brought you in super close to the sewing machine. I'm all ready. Now because this fabric is already hemmed, I'm just going to top stitch it all the way around. If you would prefer, you can sew it this way, you know, right sides together and turn it, but I don't need to because they're right sides together. And here is my zipper. Now the zipper is going to be about two inches shorter. So what I'll do is start about here and I'm going to line this zipper up this fabric with the zipper, it's super hard to see and I'm sorry, but it's because it's black on black. But let's see if I can get you some more light here. Maybe that works a little better. And honestly, I'm sewing a straight line. I'm not too concerned how it's gonna, it's, it's gonna line up. It will be perfectly fine. Um, so I have all the stuff lined up. You can pin it if you need to or if you want to, but I don't. It's a straight line. I'm just top stitching the zipper to this fabric. And again, you can, if you choose, you can glue this together. So 
and then when I get to the end, I'll lock it. Okay, let me show you. So that's it. It's stitched together. I miss now. The zipper is in on one side. How easy was that? I don't know if fabric glue or hem tape would be enough to hold a zipper. I don't know, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, you could certainly try. But again, if you wanted to do this without sewing, I would recommend using hot glue and just stuffing the pillow, if that's what you're gonna do, or fabric glue or hemming tape. But I would not, I don't know that I would try to get a zipper in. Now what we're gonna do, same thing on this side, and I need to figure out the bottom here because I want it at the bottom. Okay. Now the only thing that I have to do different is make sure my ends line up of my fabric. So when I sew them together, they'll match up, that's all. Nothing major here. And you could honestly do it after you lay this down. So I'm just kind of folding up the fabric over here. So this lies straight. And then I need to bring in this fabric here and line them up at the edge. Do you see where I'm lining them up here? So this ends meet. That's all. And like I said, it's not perfect because these are not the same exact size. And I'll do some finagling, but I'll show you how I do it. But all I'm going to do now is just, so you can see, I'm just going to attach it on this side of the zipper. Kind of back it up and get that zip out of the way. Okay. So my zipper is attached here, as you can see, on this it's in here. Now all we're going to do is I want to lay it flat. And like I said, I'll come back and get these extra threads after. Do you want to lay up, line up your ends of this cloth? Now I'm going to show you. You see how there's a little bit off here at the end? I will just kind of line them up. There's a little gapping here at the bottom. I'm not sewing it shut and the pillow will take up any excess and I'll show you at the end. But I want to make sure I'm lined up as best I can. But look at that end. That one is way off. So I'll have to take a little tuck at the back. And it's just really about to kind of forcing these to fit together. Um, if it's very important to you, cut it. Cut these little ends off or stitch them up. Um, this is going to be rough to get under here because these ends, these knots are pretty thick. So I'm going to go in this way. And if I need to go in and hand sew it at a later time, I will. If I feel like it's important. But I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think it's important. So... And these little gathers that I will create here in the back to make these match perfectly, again, will get eaten up. It won't look bad because your pillow is going to stuff it. But you just want to make sure that your seams line up. So I have this one little seam and I'm just going to sew over it and it's just a little tucker, a little pucker. It'll, it'll be taken up with the um, pillow form. All right, I'm all done around. I will show you the finished product. All right, I'm all finished with this one. It says the Ravenclaw in uh, Potions Elixirs Brew, open from dusk till dawn. And then on the 
back, it's black and white striped and it says Nevermore in the bottom. And this is a glittery and I love it. Um, I'm still snipping threads. I'll do this for days, I feel like. So what I do recommend doing at the end, when you're done, so if you're sewing, what I would do and I do is I go over with an iron and it just sets the stitches in so that they look, you know, you can't even see them. I mean, obviously you can see them, but they're right in there. Some of what you're seeing is actually the white from this fabric coming through where the needle went in. And like I said, if you don't want to have to pucker it a little bit at the back because they're not perfect, you can cut them, lay them on top of each other. You could sew it inside out and then flip it back over. But I just didn't feel like it was necessary for these pillows that are going to be $3. Now, um, this is the pillow form I got from Ikea. They're pretty big. This is a, I'm going to cut this tag off while I'm sitting here. This is a 20 by 20 pillow. Um, the bar towels are 18 inch by 18 inch and then I lost probably a quarter of an inch sewing it and I'm going to show you that it fits perfect so my zipper open it up and this is why I love using a zipper I can wash these I can store them and they won't take up so much space then these big pillows I mean they're not huge but they require storage space and if you try to do some for every season you know you're going to have a lot of pillows and I have a Ikea bag in my I'm just stuffing the pillow while I'm talking I have an Ikea bag in the basement with some holiday pillows that I didn't make and then it just takes up room so now I'm zipping it up and what I was saying is it's a pretty good size pillow and you don't really see and when it's sitting on your couch you're not gonna see this little tuck over here I mean I know it's here because I did it but going to be sitting on my couch and for fall I'm going to put the side with the stripes out you won't see this little nevermore and then for Halloween I'm going to flip it around for that I love decorations that I can use for two seasons I love this one it says October 31st on it oh I would love the I've seen one design that has like a spider web coming down but that did not so the 31st and on this side is the buffalo check that matches my fall decor so I'll just put these on my couch I'll probably put them behind the black pillows that I have and then come Halloween I'll flip them to the front and I have some just plain white um, pillow covers that maybe I'll put out with this for Halloween or maybe I'll get some purple ones made well that would be pretty but these are my pillows that I sewed um, for a total of six dollars for two whole pillows and again, hot glue or iron-on hem tape will work just the same. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. And I will talk to you later.